Hello guys, myself Manoj Sharma. Welcome to the Techno Sage. So in this video, we'll be talking about the JSON decode error, which says expecting value line one column one cat zero. So this error normally occurs when we are trying to do JSON dot loads and passing it the string, and want to convert that particular string into a JSON format. So we'll try to replicate this error, and then we will see how we can overcome this issue. Uh, let's say the string is st is equals to. We'll treat this as empty. and then we will try to print the output for the json dot loads and we'll pass the st so what we are doing here is we are passing this string into json dot loads in order to convert this into the json format and now we will run this so you can see we'll be getting some error and down below if you check the error is the same one json record error we see expecting value line one column one character zero char zero so this is the first condition where this error can arise the string that you are passing into the json load dot loads is empty so when this string can be empty so uh, let's suppose you are passing the string which is coming from one of the api that you are running so that api would be returning some output and uh, there could be a case where the api might not be returning some output for example uh, you are running an api which is giving 201 201 uh, code and not returning any output so in that particular case this output string would be empty and that output string you are passing into the json dot loads ultimately you will be getting this particular json decode error so all you need to do is you need to check whether the the output string from your api whether it's working fine or not is returning any value or not if it is not returning any value you need to give a check for that particular code code in the sense like 20 a for example 201 so that this json dot loads should not be running for that particular code which is not returning any value there is another case when this output string would be empty is you are running an api and it is not passing through it is not it is giving code other than 2xx so in that case when you are getting the error message or where when you are getting an error into your api code in that sense this output string will be empty and uh, when you are passing this empty string into the json dot loads you will be getting this error so there is another way in which you can get this error is so let's suppose i am keeping my json into a file you can see there is a sample json i have kept into a file and now i am trying to read this content of this json so what will happen is if let's suppose i have deleted this json let's suppose the path is empty or the json file is empty so in that case also i'll be getting this error even though this file is present but the content is empty so ultimately the scenario would be the same and i'll be getting this error how so you can see that there is a json file path json file path is pointing to this same file in which there is the json so what time i'll be doing is i'll be directly doing print and here i'll be doing json dot loads i will be pasting this path and i'll be running so since i'm directly passing this path and not passing the exact json i will still be getting the same issue so the second case in which you can get this error is when you are passing the path of that particular json file where your json is kept and not reading the exact file so what you need to do in this case you need to open this particular file and read with open and i will give json file path i'll give the permission as read as uh, i'll i'll just say p and i will just give the print json dot load and i'll pass p and this time you can see that my json is getting loaded correctly or the json load is working fine because in this case i am reading the content of this particular file which is kept under this path so now the third case in which you can get the error is when you are pointing the path to that json but the json file is empty i'll save this now you can see the content of the json file is empty and now if i rerun again this time again i'll get the same error so this is the third case in which i can get the similar error where you have the file you have the path correct you have the file correct you are reading the file also but the content is empty in that particular case 
your you will be getting this issue again so now we know that the real culprit is the string that we are passing into json.loads if it is empty then we are getting this error the empty could be because of the api response it could be because of the uh, the file path instead of the exact file we are reading or if we are reading the correct file but the file is empty ultimately the thing is the string that we are passing into the json.loads is empty so now we know the major culprit for the json decode error but we need to somehow do the error handling into our code so what type of error handling do we need we'll do simple try catch we'll do try uh, we are reading the content of the file with open and uh, we will read the content of this particular file i'll give the permission as read and i'll give sp and uh, here i'll just give the print json dot load and here i will pass in p now let's suppose by any chance there is an error in this particular section or in json dot load we'll write accept and we will write json dot decode dot json decode error and we will give print and write error in file and here we will be knowing that there is some error into the json file slash json and now we will run so in this case since there was no problem in the json dot load or no problem in the json itself or the file the json file itself so uh, there was no error here now what we will do we will remove this again and save this file and now we, if we run this you can see we are getting error in the json file now we know that this is because there is some problem with the json or the file that has been kept there i'll go and check okay there is a json missing i'll probably fix this and then I, i'll rerun this and i can able to see that okay this is due to this and now uh, next time if there is some problem with this uh, json itself if i run again i will be getting this error in the json file itself so in this way we can do the error uh, handling mechanism since we know that the major culprit is this uh, string that has been going into the loads you can you can directly first print right the content of the string that you are passing if there is any problem with this string then ultimately you need to fix this string before passing it to the json.loads i hope this solves your problem please do let me know in the comment section Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching guys.